Hey, welcome back, everybody. We're outside in the garden at 3TV Studios here with Dave, the garden guy. We're talking what? We've got to talk about cabbage, right? You've got to talk about cabbage and all the herbs that go into it. Cabbages. You know, first off, before we go on that, I just want to warn one thing. You know, we're going to start warming up, and the process of warming up involves doing a couple things in your garden. One okay. of them is making sure you're starting to, well, chop that ryegrass down to get that transition going. So we're you starting to well, you betcha, you want to do it right now because if you don't get it early enough, you're going to have a terrible looking lawn later on mm -hmm. come summertime. Now, of course, we're talking about the different types of stuff we grow out in the garden. We're out here with Tilted Kilt right now to tell us how to grow this, these cabbages or how to cook them and stuff, but we're growing them out here. This is a purple cabbage right here. They last for a couple years. In fact, this one perennialized and uh, he has, well, almost triple headed on us, which means there's about three or four heads in a pot back there and they do very well out here in the desert southwest. And when I say perennialized, they'll stay there year-round in our shaded area. Bob, you can show our shaded area up there, but they do fantastic. Dave, what do you do? You just harvest out the, the middle of it? You know what I do is I just, they have a tendency to grow on a very long stem uh -huh. after they've stayed there a couple times, and Bob, is a, Bob will assure you this, we had one out here that was five years old, so they are a great perennialized. <laughs> if you want something just to harvest all the time, they do very well. Peppers do well, carrots do well, parsley do well. All these go into, well, of course, corned beef and cabbage. And Carrie over there is, uh, well, you're kind of in charge of the Tilted Kill out here. Carrie, why don't you tell us a little bit about your operation and some of these, uh, some of these wonderful, well, food products you've brought with us. Thank you. Well, you know, this is a big day for us. St. Patty's Day is the biggest day of the year for the Tilted Kilt family. We have uh, six stores here in the Valley, all celebrating uh, St. Patrick's Day. And of course, the traditional dish is the corned beef and cabbage, which right. uh, I brought along our executive chef from uh, Tilted Kilt as Curly. Curly here can tell you pretty much how this is prepared and what it's made with. I and, see. And Curly, why Curly. don't you tell us a little bit about what do you do with this corned beef cabbage and how you make it? I, I absolutely, ahead. why not? Uh, what we do, we just put them in a, in a stock pot, basically the, the, uh, the cabbage and the potatoes and the, and the curry we put them in a stock pot and cook them in the uh, St. Louis liquid that we cook the uh, corned beef. So you put it all in there together? No, sir, we do it separate. We do that, the, uh, the beef first, okay. and then using the same liquid, liquid we will cook the, uh, I got you. the rest of it. Is that because it gets too soft? Absolutely, yes. And Curly, tell us a little bit about the spices that go into this. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, whenever we cook our, our beef, we use a one, uh, one pan. We fill it up with water, 75% uh, of the pan. We put our meat, and then we, we want to be using uh, some of the uh, uh, cinnamon, the coriander, Is that what's in here? That's what we have right here. And then another popular dish during St. Patrick's Day, or just uh, in general if you're Irish, is a shepherd's pie. Absolutely, yeah. we have shepherd's pie right there, which uh, on this dish we use uh, ground, uh, ground beef uh, with some uh, uh, mushrooms and uh, peas and carrots also. And of course we top it up with some uh, garlic mashed potatoes. And I saw a little bit of parsley on there too. And this is something that really works out here in the valley. We grow a lot of parsley in our pots out here. And you see that right on top of it. So it's very easy to grow, especially with the cool type of weather we get during the winter time. And this is cool. What is this? This is uh, These are called scash eggs, which basically they're uh, hard boiled eggs and wrapped with the uh, some uh, breakfast sausage. And that's, okay. that's it. We serve some uh, horse rice uh, sauce. Uh, and you know, Ryan, there's one problem with this whole setup right here. You know what it is, right? I do. There's no beer out there, guys. <laughs> I knew it. I didn't even tell you him. Even we didn't even rehearse him. Well, I said, Curry, where is the beer? And he goes, hey, it's back at our beer, our, our bar. But, of course, you've got a couple locations out here. Why don't you tell us where they're at? Yeah, we have six locations throughout the valley. Uh, we're in Peoria, Mesa, Tempe, uh, downtown Phoenix, and North Scottsdale. And then our newest location is up on North Phoenix, right off the Cactus and Tatum. So we have the whole valley covered. We've got great celebrations going on. In fact, all the restaurants are opening up today at 9, so we're already serving cold beer and going going strong. I was going to ask you, people wanting to come out there, what, what have you seen in the past? How early should people show up? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this is interesting because St. Patty's Day today falls on Saturday of March Madness. So. Yep. Naturally, all the sports guys are wanting to watch the games. They kick off at 9 as well. So I would say get in early because it's going to be going all day. Wonderful. All right, guys, thank you very much. Hey, coming up here uh, in a few minutes, Dave is going to take your calls. We're going to put your uh, his phone number up here in just a few oh, minutes. Oh, yeah, but, we'll uh, talk about that. Herbs and questions. some other things you want to go ahead and uh, start thinking about, especially with these hot temperatures coming up in the next couple of weeks. In the next couple of weeks. But coming in over this uh, weekend here, starting we got a little tonight, bit of rain. we got a storm you know coming what? We'll in. We'll cover that a little bit, too. Yeah, Brittany.